In this video we'll be looking at another method of moving in our top down game. So what we're going to do is we're going to actually edit behavior instead of adding a new sprite. So I'm going to right click, edit behaviors, and we're going to remove our eight directions. So just click delete. I'm going to add a brand new behavior. I'm going to scroll down. The one that we want is called tile movement. And press add. And then just press escape. So what this will do is this will create an imaginary grid on our screen and our character can only move inside the grid. So first of all, we set up our grid. So currently our grid width and height is 32 by 32. So if we were to run this at the moment, you see that our character moves a little bit at a time. It's a little bit strange. So let's see if we can do some addition to this. So what we're going to do is we're going to edit our object. And first of all, we're going to resize our object to actually fit inside a grid that makes sense. So I'm going to do 128 by 128. And we'll resize this and we'll just press escape. So we're making it a bit smaller. We're then going to make our grid width and our grid height exactly the same as that. So our character is moving one space at a time moving its entire length across. We can run it now. And once I press the arrow key once, you'll see it moves into its new space and then it stops there. So this is a way that we can create a very grid-like motion, a little bit like a chessboard. And depending on what type of game we're making, we can do some different ways and have different uses. We can also hold down the arrow key to move multiple spaces at a time, but it will always stay inside a grid so this can be very useful for certain types of games